Manila, the former Spanish colony, now capital of the Philippines, is a sprawling and sometimes gritty metropolis. There is, however, more than enough history, culture and, yes, shopping to keep any visitor engaged. Browse through hip urban developments offering artful surroundings and designer boutiques. Stop by tree-covered outdoor markets for a bite to eat and you'll certainly want to visit the historic walled city of Intramuras. Constructed by Jesuit missionaries in the 16th century and mostly destroyed in World War II, it's the most significant architectural legacy of the Spanish occupation. Located in Makati, the bustling business, shopping and entertainment district, the Shangri-La is one of Manila's finest luxury hotels. Note its vast lobby with double cascading staircases, mammoth chandeliers and magnificent columns. Upstairs, a variety of accommodations are available, including this modern deluxe room with sleek curving walls, blonde wood tones, contemporary furnishings and recessed dome lighting. Hungry? It's hard to decide which one of the international restaurants, bars and cafes would best hit the spot. Apparently, with more than enough roaming space, the management is doing everything they can to keep you from ever leaving the ground. Is this a gallery or antique store? A private collection of strange and beautiful things or a restaurant? Well, all of the above. Today it's Sunday brunch at Cafe Juanita, a traditional Filipino restaurant known as much for its eclectic decor as its food. You see, I'm a frustrated artist. I love colors. I love the play of uh, light and shadows. I made Cafe Juanita the canvas. This is where I express my frustration in art. This is my installation art. A cult favorite for multiple generations of locals, some say this is the best place for traditional Filipino home cooking. These are the old cooking of the Filipinos. The buffet as well as the regular a la carte menu offers a wide selection of meats, noodles, veggies and desserts, Filipino style as well as dishes with international influences. By the way, the amazing collection adorning the walls and basically any empty spot in the restaurant is also for sale. So feel free to both eat and shop in this wonderful little cafe. Every city needs its Bohemian Art District, right? Well, in Manila it's called Cubao X. In a former shoe retail district, artists are moving in and creating shops, cafes and galleries, featuring everything from live music to bookstores, antiques and all things vintage, including clothing, cameras, toys and collectibles. They say Cubayo X is a state of mind. Many of the shops here are run by artists, therefore the hours of operation are, let's say, flexible. A lot of the young artists who wouldn't probably have the chance to show their works outside, you know, in a more established main gallery, end up showing in Cobalt Expo. Here it's all about the vibe. People of different walks of life coming together to buy, sell, browse, read, create and perform. And while the district is constantly evolving, not everything has changed. Plenty of shoes are still waiting patiently for the right feet to come along. Operating in a converted family house, the intimate award-winning Lolo Dads features an open kitchen, a modest but refined dining room and truly delicious food. A specialty is sautéed duck liver, but they are also known for lamb and other beautifully presented delicacies. Take a look at those lobster tails and those scallops. Yes, the food is simple yet mouth-watering. 
In fact, the, the, the best the seat that we have here is in front of the kitchen. It's very visible, everything prepared from the scratch. Whether you try the eight-course sampling menu or order a la carte, this family-run restaurant is a place to relax and treat yourself, not strut your stuff. If you're looking for a higher octane experience, perhaps it's time now to move on into the night. In a sleek development called the Fort, located where the former US military base once stood, we find Manila's hottest nightclub. Well, at least for the moment. Pass through a formal looking entrance and discover the embassy with its spacious colorful main floor with swirling pools of lights, monitors and gilded walls. You might even see a celestial being or two. The mixed expat and Filipino crowd finds ample legroom to cruise the terrain looking for the right space to do his or her own thing. Whether it's dancing, enjoying cocktails, or even, well, paying a visit to the switching booth. Manila, with its tropical vegetation, unique blend of Asian and Latin cultures, and Spanish colonial architecture, can be enjoyed on many levels. There's something for everyone here, though it may require some jetting about town to get there. Yes, the city is large but not unmanageable and with plenty of enjoyable moments to be discovered.